Good afternoon, team. Uh, my name is Anthony O'Donnell, and I'm the Network Delivery Manager at Orion New Zealand Limited. Thank you for the opportunity to comment on the Council's draft long-term plan, 2021-31. to 31. Orion's submission focused on ensuring that the long-term plan budgets have been appropriately allocated to manage trees and vegetation in accordance with Council's tree policy and regulatory responsibilities as governed by the Electricity Hazard from Tree Regulations. The Electricity Tree Regulations primarily covers the maintenance and trimming of trees near overhead power lines and ensures public safety while also maintaining a secure and reliable electricity supply. The Council's tree policy was recently adopted in March 21 and provides guidance for planting, protection, maintenance and removal of trees on Council-owned land within parks, reserves, roads and other public spaces. Orion also made a submission on this. To achieve the CCC tree policy set objectives, the long-term plan must ensure appropriate budgets have been allocated to deliver on the following. Pruning of trees to achieve the necessary clearances to infrastructure, to regulatory requirements, ensuring appropriate budgets are provided to remove trees if the risk of the tree has been assessed as unacceptable risks to the public or infrastructure, and of important note uh, that a new budget is to be established and allocated within the long-term plan to address other options rather than cutting down the tree as this should be the last option. An example of this is the installation of underground cables or providing an, an engineering solution to address the conflict. Um, this all requires funding. Of note, recently Orion and Council have formed a working group to address trees that don't meet the requirements of the tree policy. This team will work together to review, assess and provide solutions for trees that don't meet the requirements contained within the tree policy. However, the success of this work working group must ensure that appropriate budgets are allocated. I'd like to thank Stefan Thomas, CCC's Operation Manager Transport, and his team for their collaborative approach to this issue in delivering the best outcome for the city. Iran's submission also focused on collaboration. While this won't specifically require any amendments to the long-term plan, coordination of works has the potential to impact on expenditure in this area. Orion, like the Council, has a significant up-and-coming work, uh, capital works program, which is defined in our asset management plan. I've left a copy. I'll leave a copy here. And for sustainability sake, I just bought one, so you guys can fight over it. <laughs> I'll just leave that here. Um, Orion's proposed forward works program sorry about that, will include the installation of several significant 66 kV cable projects requiring large trenches within road reserve. This work will be invasive, having an impact on traffic flow and the community in which the cables will traverse through. Due diligence of the first cable route is currently underway from Sydney to Bromley, with the delivery of works to, be to begin in 2023. These are sub-transmission sub cables that will supply between uh, large zone substations. Coordination and collaboration with Council is essential to increase efficiencies and reduce project conflicts or rework. A coordinated planning approach on Council on ro um, road resealing projects, cycleways, three water infrastructure upgrades is required. So to avoid and or lessen the impact in the recently sealed roads or roading projects. Um, we have initiated early discussions with Council on that and they're very proactive in their approach, which is great. Um, as a quick update, the Belfast to Preston 66 KV cable project is progressing well. Thanks again to the councillors who supported this following my pre-construction presentation to the respective community boards. Uh, these um, are people-sensitive pro projects but are essential for our city growth and resilience. In closing, I look forward to your acceptance on the proposed amendments within our submission and look forward to delivering these significant projects where we'll look to serve the people of Christchurch now and into the future. Thank you. Thank you for that. I, um, reading your submission was um, quite an eye-opener, you know, because, um, you know, our reflections um, of the earthquake repair strategies <laughs> didn't quite have the same joined up feel to it. So yes. I feel like that there's a learning that's been taken from that and, uh, or a lesson that's been taken from that and uh, it's being implemented in a much more proactive way, which sounds good. 
does. Yes. Yep. Very promising. It's good. Um, 66 KB um, underground cables. I remember them well. And you mentioned Sydenham to um, the same destination, Bromley. So um, that's and because uh, I uh, community consultation. So not just the community board, but community engagement. engagement. But yeah. I assume that that's all joined up with the council as well. It is. Um, yes. So when we pre uh, present to the uh, community boards, we also propose a, a comm strategy as part of that uh, proposal of Ford Works. So. Great. So, uh, but, but I mean, in terms of the timing of it, um, that, that you, you, you're working with the council engagement yes. teams yeah. around the engagement strategies. Exactly. Yeah. No? Cool. Great. Excellent. Thank you. Cheers. All right. Thank you very much. I'll just leave this. That was a yeah. very interesting submission. I don't want that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> nothing personal. I'll leave it at the front.